And welcome back, everybody, from a slightly longer break than last time. But we are going to be getting, once again, straight into the action here. Saints in the loser's bracket now coming up against Alvernia here, beating them in the loser's stage. Wow, 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 wow. Five seconds in, Christian finding the first one. What a pass. Wow. Wow. The jaw on floor. I, not, not, what else do you need to say? Yeah, I mean, I just call that one. Great little flick from Spoots. Christian going to bury that one in. I was going to talk about high stakes in the loser bracket. You can't afford to lose anymore. Both these teams fighting for their lives in St. Clair. They got the message loud and clear coming out getting that early goal. Over here. Challenging back, but the Saints definitely heard that message in the locker room before this series, and they are ready to play. And Spoo's going to take it himself. Not going to find the answer. Christian, however, will be there. And just like that, two goals in 20 seconds for Christian. Christian and Spoo's, can you give me a sec to, like, introduce everyone Please. here? Like, we, we're 20 seconds into this game. Two goals already. Spoo's assisting both of them. Christian coming in to clean those up. And now Saints already. You think with they're a playing angry? In this game, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they they're not letting this one happen. Alvernia with a close one there from Tav. He's not able to clean that up, and now kind of just rolling down the middle field there. That was slow play there for a second as Smooth tries to set it up towards the middle, cleaned out by Tav. Yeah, this could be a decent little shot for Alvernia. It's going to get denied there by Kamal on the back tap. Now Christian once again on the outbreak. Trying to get a nice little side tap there. It's going to get knocked towards the Saints Nets boots. Back there to Corral. It's going to send it back to mid. Great contest there by Tab over the middle. Now Kamal going to be there for the second touch. We'll get a save to his credit there. Going to get that corner boost. Pass does come through. Pass to Kamal over the middle here. Trying to find it. Will get denied on the goal line once again. So great job by Alvernia to shut that play down before it can really get going there. And now... They're going to go back the other way. Thrift does have some boost to play with. He's got the angle, but he will get denied by Kamal. However, second chance is going to come through the Saints. They will get the clear, and they'll be out of the woods for at least a second here. Yeah, Kamal looking to clear this out of Saints' side now. Two defenders from Alvernia still up and ready in that blue side of the field. Now rolling back towards the middle as Vallis going to be fighting deep for it here in the Saints' side, but... At the end, bouncing back towards the middle here. Spoods ready to set one up for Kamal. Kamal sending it straight back, but off the post and back down the middle. Christian not able to clean it up there. Christian was looking for his third. Yeah, Christian trying to get another hat trick on the day. We saw a couple earlier, and you can see the Saints are playing with a, uh, a rather large bag of chips on their shoulder today. They do not want to give up. They know they're back in losers. Great little pass from Kamal. Second touch. Not going to quite find the mark. But the third man is there. Oh, not going to go in the net. Spoon's going to get robbed on the goal line in the post. Tab going to be there for the save. Slow crawler toward the corner, though. Going to get kicked out just once more. Swavernia. All kinds of trouble right now in the back end. Demo comes through. The Saints are all over them. Double demo by Christian. Saints going to try to find a goal off this as well. Kamal on the off angle and through two demos and a fantastic pass by Spoots. Kamal going to end at the third one there for the Saints and a beautiful start to start off losing bracket. Yeah, you saw both the Alvernia players that were demoed came up right as Kamal hits that angle there, hits that shot. Not enough time, no boost available for them to make that save as Saints take that 3-0 now here in game one and we're only halfway through this game. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of time to do something stupid and a lot of time to make something great out of it. Alvernia gonna go for the goal here, Thrift. Great little aerial, tried to get that pass across, but fantastic job to read that by the Saints. Are gonna kick that one out for the time being. Keep that shutout going, Thrift. Once again over the middle, it's gonna get pumped, set, blasting off into space there. Now Kamal, once again, taking to the sky. Skywalker going through, not gonna find the answer there, but Christian there for the follow, gonna try to pass it over to Spoots, but now, he actually he has a lot of boost, so he wants to play some possession time, try to get that ceiling reset pass. Not going to quite find the mark there, so Alvernia back into the Saints end, but just some back and forth to the corner here. Alvernia still trying to find that goal. Our two Saints are in the net there, so the defense definitely a priority right now. Yeah, Alvernia definitely had a few good opportunities, but Saints defense just perfectly in position every time here. Christian sending it high towards this corner. Can't grab it, though. Kamal going to be ready on the setup here. Christian with the rotation back towards that defensive side. And another bounce in. Get Spoots on the board. Yeah, get him on the board. Look at him with four assists there. Oh my. Like, get him on the board at least. Spoots now coming in. Assisted by Kamal there. So flip the rolls. Yep. <laughs> and you've got 4-0 for the Saints coming in to kick off here. 
And that's what you're looking for. Get all the members involved. <laughs> Valance immediately going to take take offense to that. Going to go for the demo on Christian Kamal, though. Once again, taking to the sky. Great little flick off the crossbar. Second man is going to follow. Going to get denied there by Valance. Valance, Lance, Lance, not exactly sure, but he will come through with the save there. Saints, only a buck 20 left to play in this game one. They're just trying to run out this clock at this point. Maybe you're trying to find another goal or two. The way they've been playing super aggressive. Spoods wants to get on that board again, so the assist man trying to get on the board there. Once again, the Saints just... Avernia maybe getting a decent shot here. Bump is going to come through, so fantastic job by dribbling and clearing out. And just like that, they are going to break that zero, and they are going to have one on the board. Yeah, and that was a great shot by Tather. Great yeah, look at too. Valens. Perfect. Yeah, get in there, bump him out of the way, find that goal. Valvernia can keep finding setups like that because they've got the air dribbles down. They've got getting it to the net down, but it's how can you displace that defender? Yeah. Ultimately, the shot can be amazing, but if there's no goalie in net to defend it, every shot turns into a fantastic look. Now Kamal going to look for the second touch. Very, very close there. Just didn't quite have the boost to cut that one. Now Christian, back over the middle. Going to go to Spoods midair. Fantastic shot off the post there. Just not going to quite find the mark there, but the Saints, once again, still putting this forward pressure on Alverni and not letting him go away. Christian gonna, trying to make a, little, a cute little play here. Is actually going to somehow keep possession there as well. And he is going to steal that corner boost away. So the Saints should be able to cycle this one one or two more times maybe in Alvernia. They got that one goal earlier. Fantastic fashion. But now 25 seconds and you got to make up quite a bit of ground. Yeah, 20 seconds left. This game has all but gone to the Saints as they're looking to make it number five. Tav shutting, down, shutting it down there with the save as now he's going to make oh. this breakaway. Try to find it. Save by Spooth bouncing oh. back. And wow, the rebounds being played by Alvernia, not able to find any of them. I think that was three shots off of rebounds yeah. there. And now the game is going to be over. Just waiting for that ball to touch the ground. And Spoots coming in with the MVP in game one there. Five shots on the goal. Three assists being made on four of those goals. Not to mention finding a goal himself there. Wow. Yeah, that fantastic was fantastic job. 13 shots total from the Saints there, going back over to Alvernia's eight shots. But when you're five shots up, it really shows in that score and it reflects. Yeah, usually feeling pretty good if your shot total is, uh, you know, almost double the other team. And Alvernia, they granted, they had a lot of chances, especially at the end there. But ultimately, you can only get one goal per shot. So all those chances, even if they're able to find the back of the net, maybe they push it to 4 2. Maybe four to three if they somehow get back to back, but the Saints doing such a good job. Just every single member, we keep saying it all day. We're calling Kamal flying through the air, Spoods playing the back line, and then all of a sudden, Kamal gonna be the assist man. Spoods gonna find a couple of goals there, and the Saints looking to try to put away Alvernia here, move on in this loser's bracket as we get underway in game two here. Yeah, Kamal's Kamal's got the aerial shots, Spoods got the passes, and Christian comes got flying goals, yeah. in <laughs> straight from mid for those, those straight on hits when you need to finish off after those setups from either player there. Spoods oh. trying to send it down from the air. Christian just barely missing it, but we saw him there flying in. Yep. Full boost going, just try to hit that setup. And it's not going to be good for that first 30 seconds as it's now bouncing towards the same side, cleared out by Kamal. And Wow, off the post. Can't bounce in, though. That could have been the lead that the Saints wanted this game. Yeah, great little chip shot there. They're still finding a lot of chances here. We'll get knocked away there for the time being. Spoots going to recover. Got some boosts. Actually, Lance with a great little contester. Now they're going to get the second touch off the backboard. Third member is going to be there. Save is going to come through the Saints. Will we get back for the rotation? They will get back there. They will gain possession in the corner here. Christian going to knock this one out of the way. Spoots going to go for the follow. Going to go for the 50. Not going to quite get it. Christian going to be there. Net is wide open. Wide open. Come on. It's going to be there for the touch, though. Second Saints. Spoots is going to be there to, for the second follow. There, Blance once again on the shot. Going to get knocked away by Kamal. And now Kamal's got some space to work with. It's going to be a fantastic contest by Thrift, though. And that's going back toward the net, but it will get kicked away by Spoots. So Alvernia definitely not going away into the quiet night here. Yeah, definitely not as they're keeping this pressure going. Griff with a demo as now they've got a couple seconds to work with. Take it out of their zone. Tav bouncing it right over some of the Saints offense there. Spoods though straight back into the corner when he's back up. Going to be fighting it out. Sending it high. Kamal coming in with the aerial. And Christian, can he finish it off? It's going to bounce back up and just go high towards midfield here. Yeah, Spoots just trying to play these resets to get possession once more. Great pinch there. Kamal coming through as well. But Griff once again holding down that midline and both teams kind of struggling to get the offense going we've seen some shot attempts we've seen some really good advances but both teams just 
Still a couple donuts on the scoreboard there, so clearly nothing working quite yet. Alvernia, oh, it looked very, very promising, and Spoods going to deny that one, and yet again going to deny it. Now, on the counterattack, Demo does come through. Spoods has space to operate. Going to go for the quick touch there, trying to pass it off to Christian, but nothing going to quite come of it quite yet. Come on now, in the air, trying oh, to find the spike through the air. Individual Thrift does shut it down for the time being. I really thought Kamal was just going to sail in there, but there's Thrift on the defense. Pass over to Kamal. Going to tap it off the wall. Spoods coming in here to keep this ball alive for the Saints. Keeping himself over at half for that defensive play that we've seen so, so much from Spoods this game. And both teams still looking to break this deadlock. And in a game like this, every single game, the pressure continues to ramp Alvernia. Season potentially on the line as far as CRL is considered. CRL qualifier Saints trying to desperately find this goal, find this game to win, and get back in the horse, back in the saddle to move on to loser's bracket. And very stark different from game one and game two. The Saints found a lot of their offense early on in game one. Nothing quite yet in game two. And the defense of Alvernia, not to be understated though, they have played phenomenally on the back end, making tons of saves. Thrift and Tap have been so good contesting these middle 50s. And both teams just trying to find that answer, trying to find that hole in the armor. And I would not be surprised to see the first team to score maybe walk away with this game. Yeah, I mean, we're now one minute and 30 left. And with how even this game has been, I totally agree with you there, Jobin. Whoever finds his first goal, I can 100% see them take this game. Griff trying to find that one for his team there, but just a little slow as Spoods able to find that defense, but really just been the story of this game. Spoods making a save, Griff making a save as Tav trying to bring it back over for Alvernia. And both oh. Tav and Kamal so good at bringing it straight from one net all the way down the middle to the other creating some opportunities for their team. Once again, now we're back to one minute remaining, but this time, 0-0 zero, zero on the clock. Christian finding one demo for himself as Spoots trying to set one up towards the middle. Great bump there by Spoots. Isn't it clear out the net, but unfortunately, nobody there just to quite get the follow there. Kamal trying to get the play here. Looks like it'll be Christian getting demoed. Spoots gonna have the shot attempt, is gonna get kicked to the right. Kamal should be there to get the rebound. He will do so above the backboard now. No Saints with him just yet, though. Second will finally come through. And once again, denied on the goal line by Alvernia. And now Kamal sending it back across the pitch. Only 22 seconds to play in this game. Saints do have that 1-0 lead. So if we go to overtime, it could be all on the line here. Shot attempt does come through, and it will find the angle. Spood's going to split the uprights. And now the Saints looking to close on Alvernia in this loser's bracket. Great play all around, and Spood's. There we go, going to find that goal the Saints were looking for. Looking right between two defenders, not able to get that pinch. And... Only 16 seconds to play in this game, too. All right, Alvernia goal. This is it. 15 seconds for you to find this goal to take it to overtime. Tav is looking for it. Oh. The angle almost looked good, but it's just off the crossbar. Oh. Rip not able to find it either. Wow, Alvernia. That ball was halfway in, at least. You oh. can't say they're not trying. Some of these shots have just been so, so close as now. Ball is still high. Thrift able to keep it dribbling for just a little bit longer. We've been at zero seconds for like 20 now. Tav taking there it down go. and there it is. I believe it was Kamal there right at the end, yep. tapping it towards the ground and finishing off that game. 2-0 for the Saints, keeping themselves in this loser's bracket, bringing themselves forward one step closer to bringing themselves to that grand finals. Yeah, it all starts with one step. You got to regain after dropping in the winner's bracket to Penn State White. They try to retool, come back for the loser's bracket, try to put a new head on their shoulders. They will dispatch 2 nothing in that first series coming back. So just great job all around by all the players. Everyone getting involved in every way, defensively, offensively, finding their way and not a moment too soon because as we say, it's just going to get harder and harder and harder. There's still, I think, one of the USF teams waiting down the pipeline, mm -hmm. potentially. Both Penn State teams down the pipeline. Valley Field often winners as well. So there's only these juggernauts of teams that we're getting down to that top eight, that top 16 now. So every single game, the stakes will continue to rise, and we'll have to see who's going to rise to the occasion. Yeah. Actually, we are going to get the bracket here as well. And look at that. You can't forget that Penn State White, the ones who sent them, sent the Saints back down Two losers bracket. Valley Field went to losers. Well. Yeah. Wow, that is that had to be the I think they played against USF or Penn one of the Penn State teams, but that had to be a massive Syracuse. upset. Syracuse gonna take him down three to one, actually. So maybe Syracuse is a 
little bit better than all of us thought. Maybe they got overlooked a little bit because Valley Field, as we know, I think they were the fourth place at Worlds. They were our Canadian compadres up on stage. We had the great photo with the Canadian flags and we know Tokyo and Vegas, two of the best players in CRL last year and somehow falling down to losers. So now the Saints going to have to take on KSU Black and then ultimately it will be a matchup with Valley Field on the horizon with Penn State White on the other side as well. So this bracket just got a lot tougher in losers than I expected, but man, we wouldn't have CRL Sunday any other way. Yeah, not only do they have to now fight their way through KSU, they got to beat Valley Field. And after that, there's always the chance of meeting PSU White once again yep. and getting the run back for that one. And to be honest, if you're the Saints, you want that run back. Yeah. You want to win that game because that was one of the closest game threes I have ever seen. Yeah, and I think we are going to take a very, very quick break as mm -hmm. per usual. So we'll be running it back on the other side. CRL Sunday, losers continues. It'll be St. Clair versus, I believe it was KSU, to draw, KSU Black coming up off of the, after the break. Action here. Saints in the losers bracket now coming 